It's a lamp unto our feet. It's a guide to darkness. It gives direction to life. Your word gives us motivation. Your word gives us assurance of faith. It is your word alone that you used to overcome the works of Satan. You spoke and it came to pass. You said it is written. And that which was written, he couldn't do anything about it. So Father, by your word, establish us. Give us understanding and meaning to life. We pray that whatever be the work of evil that will misinterpret your word, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Take control over our lives. Let your word come with clarity and understanding. And at the end, we will give you praise. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Can the church say, Amen. 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 We can do better. Amen. Had thrown away when they fled in a path. 
Harun. Then the messengers returned and informed the king. So the people went out and plundered the camp of the Arameans. Then a, a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel and two measures of belly for a shekel in accordance with the word of the Lord. Now the king appointed the royal officer on whose hand he leaned to be charged of the gate, to be in charge of the gate, which of course I will give you the detailed information why he is asking him to be in charge of the gate. But the people trampled on him at the gate, and he died, just as the man of God had said. He spoke when the king came down to him. So it happened just as the man of God had spoken to the king, saying, Two measures of belly for a shekel and a measure of fine flour for a shekel will be sold about this time tomorrow at the gate of Samaria. At that time, the royal officer had responded to the man of God and said, Now, even if the Lord were to make windows in heaven, could such a thing as this happen? And he said, Behold, you are going to see it with your own eyes, but you will not eat of it. And that was, and that is what happened to him. For the people trampled on him at the gate, and he died. Amen. 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 This is a very interesting story. When you go home, find time and read the whole of Second Kings. Chapter 7. Find time and if I were you, if you want to understand the concept of Bible, when you want to understand it very well, if you are giving chapter 1, let's say you are giving chapter 3, make sure you read chapter 2 before the chapter 3. And then after that, go to chapter 4. Get the whole story. Why is the Bible saying what it's saying? That's right. Don't just pick a question. So, but many people who be want to mess us up with our, with our minds and theology and concepts of the, they always will pick the Bible, this, or pick it here, here, here. They will not go into details. When you meet people who are debating and all they are doing is picking the Bible from pieces here and there and putting it together to make a little bit down there. That's one of the things you see they are making, make, making a mess of you. Any Bible teacher will take the scriptures, give you the context That's right. from the background story, tell you where it is coming from. That's right. Why it is being said that way. That's right. Know the difference. Don't let them quote, quote Matthew chapter 4 verse 16. He says that, quote John chapter 2 verse 5. God is saying, he says that, tell them. no, no. When they quote, let them take their time. Look into why the Bible said that. Will you, will you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. So let's move, move to the story. Elijah, Elisha, sorry, Elisha, the servant of God, has come into the point of a big problem. There is serious fire. No food. And of course, everybody is lamenting. And because of that, there were some leopards who were also hungry. In fact, the city is, is down. Some people have come to capture the city, taking everything from them. So the people of Israel are lamenting they don't have food. And these lepers, four of them, are also at the gate of the city, the entrance of well, if you're a leper, you can't enter this. You have to be at the entrance gate. You have to be there. So if you have any message, you give the people who are taking care of the gate, for them to take it inside. If you have any message for your family, you have to tell them. Have a message for the king, you have to tell them. You cannot enter the city because of your nature, because of your disease. You are, left, you are not clean. These guys have sat at the entrance of the gate for all this who are hungry. In fact, they are going to die. Whether they sit there or they, whatever they do, they will die because there is no food. And then they talk twice. So are we going to sit here and die? Let us go to the next. 
Quebec City. There is school. When you go there and they locate us and kill us, I've told the same day, we will die. But if we go there and they don't locate us, hey, praise God, we will eat. And, and we are okay, well, to die. So they decided to go. And before that, Elisha has prophesied. And when the prophet came, the king by which Elijah was prophesying, the king, like, like the, 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 the lady says in your chairman, he said, oh, Elisha, are you crazy? Even if God opened the windows and pour food, whatever you are prophesying is never true, it will come to pass. And Elijah didn't talk because he said, tomorrow by this time, there will be food. Tomorrow by this time, things will change. Oh, you know the one who could tell me too much. Where, where is this coming from? You prophet, prophet, you talk too much. The way you are behaving, I don't believe it. That tomorrow my standard will change. Tomorrow I will be like Obama. Tomorrow I will be the president of America. Tomorrow I will be a billionaire. And made them feel there is an army coming. 
And so, the ship, let's all run. They took over. Boom! They are gone. They left the food, the gold, and the silver, everything they have captured, they left their tent. Everything, not a single thing they took with them. They ran away from the food and the property and everything they have got left. Gone. Surprisingly, when you are running, what should you run with? You have a horse. Run with them, but they left all the horses. Can you imagine? When your enemy is being chased, and God is in charge. He will forget that in Asaka. He will run as if something is running after him. Nothing was coming but only four men. So imagine what happened. When they got to the city, they realized there is nobody. Ah, really? What happened to these guys? Ah, okay. And they, they, they went into one of the tents. They have gold, they have food, they have everything. They to the best of their knowledge. And they were full, packed all the gold and silver, went outside and hit it, hit it, hit them somewhere, came back and still realized the place was empty. And then they were like, oh, okay, let's go to the other tent. They, they saved it and they, they, they thought to themselves, oh, we can't be, we cannot be wicked. We have to share. Tell your brother, begin to share. We have to you share. see, some of us are so wicked. Wicked. They talk, they talk, they always think about themselves. Don't you ever think you'll be successful when you think about yourself? Right. Now, COVID is all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, you want to tell me you can't even bake, you can't even fry chicken, chicken and bring it to church. Chicken for everybody today. You can't even, if you can't, if you can't. If you can do whatever, buy some chips, something. I mean, That's right. because you have it. That's right. You have the money. Right. It's only that you don't know your bank account. You get the dough. That's right. Got it. And you, all you think in is yourself. yourself. Wrap, a, wrap a shirt. Wrap a shoe. Wrap something. Look, look to see how best you can help somebody else. Okay. Or lead somebody. Hey, there is this opportunity. Can you try it? Tell somebody your sources. Sure. But the unfortunate thing is the people you are going to tell, they are the very ones who are going to mess with you. Yeah, and then, why is it so in this world? When I want to help you, you bypass me to help me. To destroy me, not to help me, but to destroy me. And so when people get it, they keep it. But that is not a very good concept. Right. When they realize they were enough, after they have hidden whatever they had, they were still enough. So you know what? Let's go to the king. And announce it. They went back to the king. When they got there, they couldn't enter to the, in the city of Israel. They couldn't because they are lepers. So they told the game, go, go, game, gamekeepers, told them, Master, tell the king that we see now food and whatever for everybody, please. Gather and come and go. Man, are you guys serious? Be careful. So they went inside and told the king, the king said, hey, the Samaritans are making a target. They have intentionally left the city empty so that when we get there, they will encounter us and kill all of us. We are not going. And then they came up, you know, the, 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 one of the king's servants said, please, let's go and try. Maybe, maybe what they are saying is true. So the king sent some people to go on the way to try. Go and check if it is true. And that is what we read from. On their way going, they found clothes. All over on the, on the floor, they found certain things. They were like, ah, who dropped these things? When they were running away, they were even removing their shoes and whatever. They were dropping them on the floor. When your enemies begin to run, you will see how they will run. See how they run. Your enemies will come as a foe, as one well attack, but they will flee from every angle. They will have no means of getting themselves together. And so when you are under attack, do not walk fight your fight. Remember your God will do your do. Remember your God will make the way where there seems to be no way. When the enemy is scattering, they scatter from all angles, as the Bible says. So the guys came back and reported that, oh yes, 
What they said is true. The place is empty. There's food. There's everything. So the Bible says they went in. And grain, as we read from verse 17, because of that, God put it. At that time, the royal officer had responded to the man of God and said, Now, even if the Lord were to make windows in heaven, could such a thing as this happen? When Elijah told the story, gave the prophecy, the king's man, the, the, the leader of the king's controller said, Oh man, we can't, we can't take this. this. This is not possible. Came just to listen to him. And then Elijah said, You will see what will happen to the tomorrow by this time. You will see for yourself, but you will never be part of it. Folks, do not let your faith be shaken. That's exactly what happened to the man. He did not let the king talk. 
He is too deep. Elijah, Elijah, baby, baby, now. What you are saying is not real, please. Elijah told him, you have rejected the, the message of God. Tomorrow by this time, it will come to pass. You will never see it. And so when the time came that it, it was happening, the king assigned him, go to the gate of Samaria and make sure you secure everything so that it will not be a mess. You go and arrange it. And Bible said when he got there, standing there trying to, the people were so many that they swam over him. Walk over him and he died. So he saw it. He wasn't part. Don't doubt God. Don't. Don't you ever in your lifestyle. That is why I don't believe it. When people come with concepts, most especially in our time like this, where there is hunger, money are being difficult to find. A time like this. Those of us that do track. When I started, it was about almost three dollars something as a gallon. Now we are heading towards almost seven dollars. And the unfortunate thing is they have not increased the land. They haven't done absolutely nothing. Sometimes even compared back some time ago, a year ago, it was a little higher. Now they have even bringing it down, the price. Do you go or you stay home? However, you keep trusting God. That's right. You stand strong in, with your faith. And so if you don't take care, you find it very difficult to pass. God, you, you took me there, you brought me in. This is your portion to support. The tent is yours. He doesn't need your tent. He needs all. He doesn't need your tent. So you, you say you are not making, you are not doing favor to the pastor or to the church. You say, oh, eh, 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 I saw for no, your mom, your mom, your mom, your mom, your mom. You are not. It's so good. You are putting God at a position where you are trusting Him, folks. If I tell you the testimonies I personally have concerning my faith in God. I have served him all these years with that joy in my heart, whether I have it or not. I have been with that. I thank God for that spirit in my personally. I thank God for that kind of spirit. I love it. Because if without him, I might have been dead a long time. Long time. But when I don't have, I still do what I have to do. To project to him that I am still trusting in him. When I have the money and I have some bill and I have to pay my tight, I go ahead and pay the tight. Why? My trust in him is beyond the tight. The ten. The ninety couldn't survive me. The ten, ten percent. The ninety percent. I imagine in Asia, but one couldn't. He couldn't survive me. But the ten percent. Oh, 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 oh. And so then if you're going through anything, you're going through things, it is possible that you have neglected the possibility of who your God is and what he can do. When you doubt him, you will not see his hand of mercy. You will see it. You will be a Christian, all right, but the power, the component, the source of your joy, the power of your strength, your hope and your glory will be shattered because you don't trust him. And that has become the story of many Christians today. Oh, yes, it's like the Who said it? What is the purpose of the text? To support the work of God. And yet for anything. I don't get paid for this church. I don't. Why? Because I see, say, the church don't have it. So if I have the strength to be able to work, let me step out there, work. Now, me am going to be a baby. Now, I'm going to be a baby. I'm going to be a baby. Because so for so for your human mercy, your be a year, year. I say send me for year, a bad boy. Amen. How do we do it? Lord have mercy. So I step out with that concept that I must and put my trust in the Lord because you know what? It is not easy. You work Monday through Friday, very tired. And alongside, I'm doing my, my 
my school work. I'm going to school. I go cry. So we go school. And then apart from that, I take care of this. That's right. And then when I finish, I have time to prepare the word of God. Let's mm -hmm. look it. Don't I have a good excuse? I have a good excuse. Oh, so for when I prepare, and yeah, you see. And the best thing as a, for a pastor to do is to be home. Go through the word 24-7. That's right. Now me share, now can me bomb pie, let me share time, but let me be drop when let me show. But in all that, I still pray. I still see the face of God. I still go to the word. I still make sure I will not because I know it is not permanent. That's right. It is not. That's right. It will come to pass. That's right. It is a generation of time, Maria, that I will look back and say, oh, God did it. That's right. But if I don't put my trust in him, then I will see it. I will not be part. But I will be part of it. That's right. Yeah, I've got 200 years. Right. And I see Mr. George, he is awful. Do you remember when we used to be here? Now we have our own big church. That's right. And thousands of people. Hey! And then old man, 200 years, I will come and I'll be dancing. Hey, hey. <laughs> and then I look, I saw like a caca. My ass This is what I'm prophesying. It will come to pass. Right. Do not give up when this up. Anyway, like messed up. That's right. When the lepers realize that they are dark, they are too strong. Let us trust God. If you go and die, let us die. We are going in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. They move not by their strength. They move with a concept that it will surely be possible. Let us put our trust in Him. Do not look at your money and look at the size of your money. Maybe, maybe I am so mean.
times anybody who is listening to this message and doesn't know you, Lord, I pray that such will surrender himself or herself to your word and to trust you fully with all her telling you, oh Lord, that you are God who never changed. You did a miracle yes, but and you do it again in my life. You do it again in our lives. Father, we thank you. We commit this message before you. We ask the Lord to bear fruit in our hearts. That our lifestyle, our concept, our beliefs, working in victory, will change. Thank you, Father. It is time for us to give and to support your work. We pray that you give according to what you have given us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with us in let us just say amen. Amen. amen.